Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race. It's been a long month. It's been a few minutes since I've uploaded a new video, but I am back. It was a crazy month. I ended up taking a whole month and going and doing some race car things, and we're going to go over that right now. Some of it you guys got to see. Some of it you might have watched on another channel. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was pretty epic for sure. So I started off about a month ago leaving here with Wally, Motion Racers Grand Marquis. Took it out to Rocky Mountain Race Week 2.0. Uh, did the whole five day event there, ended up taking Wally from what was an 18 second car when they got it. They ended up getting it down to a 13.8 second car, ended up taking it out and we did the J mod before I left, took it out to Oklahoma throughout the week, did some other mods, pulled some seats out, tried to do as much weight reduction as possible, ended up taking the trunk off on the very last day for one of the very last passes and running a 1290, I think seven or 98 in the car, uh, just barely squeaking it in the 12s. and. What an absolute crazy car. We can't tune on it, or I'm not able to, because it's like an SCT deal, no HP tuners. You have to actually like mess with chips and all that, I believe in it. Uh, so we're spraying 175 shot through a $1,600 car that they bought off of Facebook Marketplace during the first race week. If you guys watched any of that or know anything about it, Doug's Nofa wasn't able to make the trip the first race week this year, so they just bought this thing off of Facebook Marketplace. So uh, in order to get it back out to Iowa where Motion's at, I just said we'll do that, and then it'll end up back up there. We'll drive it there. So left home, went did race week, traveled over 1,300 miles in five days doing that, ended up back in Iowa, had a few days of rest, and then we kicked off what we called El Toro. It was an 8-8 eight and eight build. We were trying to build an 8-second car in 8 days. This shell of a Fox body that they've had sitting around was there as their R&D car. It was really a pretty neat car. It's uh, not perfect, the body's not bad, but it's a little rough around the edges for sure. And we ended up taking that car and transforming it into pretty close to an eight second ride over the next eight days. Uh, this was a team effort of everybody at the shop working on it, crazy late nights, a lot of hours, as well as a lot of hours from the media side of it. And that's what I do. I work on the media team there at Motion. So we pretty much created eight videos in eight days for this build, showing the whole process. If you guys haven't seen it or know what I'm talking about, it's over on Motion Raceworks uh, YouTube channel. So that's part of the reason I was busy helping make eight videos for over on that channel, which is really cool. Um, you'll notice me in there some outros, behind the camera talking, as well as some of it I'm editing. And uh, we have some help. Also, Chad there was editing some videos. And it, it's a really cool deal that we just get to like build a car and film it and work on it and make videos for the internet. Uh, and you guys, everybody that watches it, then that is more or less my job. I mean, there's a lot more little content, micro stuff, Instagram going on, all, all sorts of other marketing and everything else that I do as well. Towards the end of the week, we ended up trying to fire up the car. We came up a little short. Uh, it was more like day nine that we got it to start. Had to finish up a few things on it, but more or less the car was built. We just had to like, you know, tidy up it, loose ends. And like you, every vehicle, it seems like you never stop working on them. But, got those things finished up, got the car running. Pretty much we downloaded uh, Haltech. This car had a Haltech Elite 2500, something that was fun, something new I got to play with, got to learn about. Uh, on, I would say this was Thursday night, we kind of like looked at it as Tyler was wiring the car. Friday we plugged into it to try to fire it, and Saturday we got it running with this new ECU. Haltech's great, they got a lot of uh, support and everything else, so we got it running. I watched a lot of their YouTube videos on the Haltech YouTube channel, just like teaching myself how to data log, how to look at certain things, how to figure out uh, what tables did what. I like to explain it like it's two different languages, I guess. You have, you know, just a different way of saying the same thing. So after looking at some different things and tables, I understood where we were at, what we were trying to do. Got the car running fairly decent uh, and we headed down to Florida the kind of time crunch to get down there, FL2K started on Thursday. We left Iowa on a Tuesday, got down there Thursday morning. We were at For the Performance. It's right next to Cletus's shop. If you guys have seen that hub dyno, we strapped this thing to their hub dyno, and I started playing and learning and just working the fuel in and everything else. And then uh, there was a few questions I had as far as boost controller, smoothing of the fuel table, stuff like that, uh, how their O2 control worked and some of that stuff. So I kind of, I had basic understanding, but I really just wanted to verify it. This is a car that has a fair amount of money built into it and I didn't want to destroy anything right away. So uh, 
again hit up Altec for some support they are actually able to log right into the computer you guys can see in a video pretty much is we made a whole video about just us tuning this car uh, and I, I'll go ahead and link it up wherever it's at in these things but uh, I'll link that video for you guys to check out if you want to but started from nothing pretty much worked through that whole thing that day ended up making 833 horsepower I'm pretty sure it's out of turbo no matter what we did from there it just didn't make any more boost it didn't make any more power it was it's was pretty much tapped out uh, this has actually got a 76 75 millimeter cast uh, precision turbo on it it's something that I'd like to put two of on the Camaro possibly this winter so more coming on that stuff if you guys uh, are interested in that definitely want to bring you guys some more Camaro content here soon especially after this whole month of racing but anyway uh, got this car pretty much tuned up where we wanted it headed to the track the next day went like 9-2 lost the hood first pass and then went a string of 9-0s played with some other things uh, and you just didn't quite get the 899 that we were hoping for but that's okay because we still have the car and we're still going to go after that nine second pass we easily could bolt on like a bigger turbo and chase that uh but i think the plan is is to manipulate some of the other things different intakes uh play around with some other things to just try to get it to go that number uh and then you never know put another turbo on it and go deep into the eights which will be really cool it's a fun little small tire 26 inch tire car uh the thing only ended up weighing like 2770 pounds with a driver i i couldn't believe it i hate it right I, I have a Camaro, it weighs so much, and then you just watch this car go together and it's so light instantly. It's just, it's so hard to compete with them dang cars and when you're trying to pull weight out of pretty much any other chassis. But uh, went down there, again, April actually flew in, helped me with editing some stuff as I was filming one day. She was editing some stuff in the uh, little RV that we had and put together another like three videos documenting those three days and racing and everything else. So put out a ton of content over there and uh, what an epic time. I mean, how can I complain that I got to go make videos and go racing and do all the fun things that we did over the last month. But it was, it was pretty epic. A lot of hours, a lot of, a lot of time spent and pretty wore out after the whole deal, but it was epic for sure. Uh, so I just want to give you guys a little behind the scenes. I, I couldn't figure out how I quite wanted to do it. Do I film midway through the build and give you guys an update? Do I film some of, you know, down in FL2K? And that is something I'm definitely going to work on. I want to figure out a way that I can show you guys some of the work I'm doing. Let me know if you think that'd be interesting. Uh, just creating content for the automotive world. If you guys want to see kind of a little more, it'd be behind the scenes on my side of it, I guess. Or uh, recaps of what I've been doing. Uh, some of that stuff. Because I think it's cool and there's going to be a lot of jobs in the future that people are needed to cr help create with YouTube and Instagram and Facebook, TikTok, all that stuff. There's so much growth and content that needs to go out that there's going to be this opportunity for a lot of people that love cars, love filming, love editing, uh, taking pictures, stuff like that. A lot of freelance work for sure uh, too without all this if you're like an automotive photographer or whatever. Uh, it's all going to happen. So I, I think it's a cool dynamic. It's something that's unique to me of that. I also create content for a brand for a company, not just for my own channel. Uh, and I want to take you guys along on that journey as well as I learn, get bigger, everything grows. Cause it's, it's pretty rapid and it's pretty, it's pretty exciting and it's fun on my side of it. And that's definitely something I want to share with you guys on that as well. So let me know what you think about, uh, what you would like to see from, how my work from the trips that I take and all the automotive stuff how it feels right and what makes sense like I was going to do it at the end of the thing recap but it's just so busy and you, at that time you're just fighting for a few extra hours of sleep too so uh I definitely want to document it though even if the videos come out a little bit later or maybe they're quick maybe they're from the cell phone quick update hey guys this is what we're doing this is where I'm at da, 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 and send you guys a video it won't be very polished it won't have a lot of editing it just maybe be, you know, a seven minute walk around of this is what's up, cut, cut, and send it to you guys uh, so you can watch it here on the Built-in Race channel. But either way, uh, another huge thing that happened throughout this month is we broke 10,000 subscribers. And that is all thanks to all of you. I appreciate it so much. That is definitely a massive milestone of breaking 10,000 subs on YouTube. Now we're on to... 25, 50, 100,000, and uh, can't wait to take you guys along with it. But I did want to say thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button when you have. Uh, I have noticed that only about 10% of you guys have that bell on. So if you if you like watching the videos, do me a favor. If you hit that bell, you get notified when a new video comes out. The sooner you watch it and the more of it you watch, 
the more YouTube goes, hey, this is a relevant video and shares it with new people so all this can grow and I can bring you guys more content as well. As it grows, as everything happens, uh, it, it's only the beginning, I promise. So thank you guys again so much. I just want to give you a recap on the epic month that I had. And if you're new, and this is somehow the first video you've seen, probably a weird one for you because you don't know a lot of what's going on. But uh, if you want to watch some more, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one.